all right in this video we are going to see the online co-op how to set it up basically because it's slightly different uh, very similar to cricket 22 but people who are new to this game uh, i just wanted to make sure i make this video for cricket 24 as well so what you need to do is when you get into the game go to online then go to custom match select it now x press x to create the match for uh, keyboard it's z okay and then press it press x now you come to two tabs okay one is simple one is advanced you can see in the top left corner so in the simple one uh, select the match type whatever you want to play then season day you know match difficulty match difficulty harder hardest this will be default uh, no uh, you know slider settings have support is not there for online stuff so default stuff is going to go on then you select the stadium pitch type crack gender all those things if you want to play a female you know women's cricket then you have to change that here rain you know pitch hardness all those things you do now the main part is you have to press right button which is r1 okay r1 or right button rb either these are the two things which usually are the used terms so right button for keyboard it's three one and three is always the combination for uh, you know the keyboard where you have to move to the next tab okay if you have to move to the next tab next option right left those things will, will arrows will work but tab wise if you have to move it is three one and three so left side one right side is three so if you press three it will go to this now normalize skill if you want both the teams to be at equal level then you have to press this as yes otherwise if you want if say if for example if you are playing online and you are playing with bangladesh or you know afghanistan some team against australia the skill aspect will be higher on australia's end right so what we need to do is we can just select yes as the option so that australia's and bangladesh sorry afghanistan or bangladesh uh, strength and skills come to the same level so that you have an equal platform to play with your team that's the thing okay now for co-op the first main thing you have to do is in this versus ai you just have to select yes because you are playing against the ai so co-op basically means two people playing for the same team and the versus the ai okay you can also play with other two people but two people have to be in the same computer okay so you have to remember that if you are playing two versus two two people have to be in the same computer another two people in the another computer so only two computers can compete not four computers you have to understand that when we, when they say 2v2 it's not four computers getting in together and playing a match it is just two pcs where two people are there in each pc that's all so that's how you can play 2v2 now for normal co-op uh, 2v2 versus ai for this you have to press this one so that you know you can play against the ai other than that these things you can do or you need not do all those you know disable timers always go with yes if you are playing co-op always go with yes i hope you know they can just make it as default yes when you select you know versus ai because timers don't make sense in co-op you are playing with someone you know right you, you i don't think people go casually play co-op with someone randomly so if that is that, that is the case maybe timers might make sense but uh, if you're playing co-op with someone you know doesn't need to be there and same for online as well if you are playing with a friend just disable it so that it's easier for both of you um, you know if some if, you, if it is someone you don't know then it is fine but if you know someone and you know you know that you are going to interact and you know have a good conversation while the match is going just disable timer so that we don't have to fuss about the timers you know coming and going and sometimes it gets stuck as well i don't know whether those kind of issues are solved or not so just that's the case okay now the the main thing after pressing this is the main one okay the most important thing after this is don't press back the instinct thought that comes is we were in the simple tab now came we came to the advanced tab so if i press back it will go to the previous screen that is the simple but it is not the case right now simple and advanced are same screen if you go back it goes back to the main menu where you know the quick match custom match all those options comes right 
that's the page it goes to so that you need not you shouldn't do because other again you have to set all the things and it will again set back to default so that is a frustrating process so don't press back you have to press left tab lb or l1 whatever you know your controller is press that and then create a match okay so that you can have this if you want through public session you can do that as well but uh, normally if you are going to share it through steam or you know console or something you just can do this and invite whoever you want to simple okay that is the thing for uh, setting up a co-op match if you have any other questions related to online about the settings and stuff just uh, tell me in the comment section so that i can help out uh, you know in those regards because when you know st certain stuff about the game helping out becomes easier so when you share the information so that is the reason i am making such videos i know it, these these kind of videos are uh, basic to many because it's like man this is known but there are many people who are very new to this game as well who need that assistance to create a match and enjoy the game as well so i am trying to create videos for people who want you know such information so i hope you make use of this video and if you have any other questions comment section Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.